Gas exchange change 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 Gas exchange Gas exchange Right, gas exchange, the process of it One, as you breathe in, air enters the trachea Two, the trachea splits into two bronchus, one bronchus leading to each lung Three, each bronchus then branches into smaller tubes called bronchioles Four the bronchioles end in small air sacs called alveoli. This is where gases are exchanged. And lastly, five. The ribcage, intercostal muscles, and the diaphragm all work together to move air in and out. Gas exchange happens in the alveoli. Isn't that right, Hassan? That's right. Lung contains millions of alveoli, the gas exchange. Each alveoli is made from a single layer of thin, flat cells called the alveoli epithelium. Asil, tell us some more about this. Well, alveoli are arranged in bunches. Bunches? That's right, bunches, at the end of bronchioles. They're surrounded by a network of capillaries. Capillaries? You heard it, capillaries, giving each alveolus its own blood supply. Own blood supply? Own blood supply. And carry on. Well, oxygen diffuses out of the alveoli across the alveolar epithelium and the capillary endothelium. This is a type of epithelium that forms the capillary wall. That's why, and it goes into the hemoglobin in the blood. Asil, carry on. Carbon dioxide diffuses into the alveolar from the blood, crossing the capillary endothelium and then the alveolar ep epithelium. After entering the alveolar space, it's breathed out. Breathed out? That's right, breathed out. <laughs> Gas exchange system has different parts with different functions. Asil, give me one function. Goblet cells secrete mucus. The mucus traps mi microorganisms and dust particles into the inhaled air, stopping them from reaching the alveoli. Hassan, what's the second one? Well, cilia on the surface of the cells beat the mucus, which moves it upwards away from the alveoli towards the throat where it is swallowed. This helps prevent lung infections. Asil, what's the next one? Elastic fibers in the wall of the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles and alveoli help the process of breathing out. On breathing in, the lungs inflate and the elastic fibers are stretched. Then the fibers recoil to help push air out when exhaling. What's the next one? Well, some smooth muscles in the walls of the trachea, bronchi and bronchioles allow the diameter to be controlled. During exercise, the smooth, smooth muscle relaxes, making the tubes wider. This means there's less resistance to airflow and air can move in and out of the lungs more easily. And that's it. What's the final one? Rings of cartilage in the wall of the trachea and bronchi prov provide support. It's strong but flexible. It stops the trachea and bronchi collapsing when you breathe in and pressure drops.